in the previous video we showed dynamic roles and we show how Eric Powers by virtue of being an executive he got access to the BOL DAP because he got that title but we left him uh, as being a manager so, so he lost those access rights we're here to business information he's a manager therefore he doesn't have those access rights what we're gonna do now because we're gonna run our first reconciliation we're gonna create a new provisioning policy and we're gonna say that this provisioning policy is gonna be named uh, backup operator backup operator and this is actually going to be applicable to all members of the executive uh, dynamic role we created before which is uh, right here and whoever get this role what is it, are they going to get they're going to get as we've done many times automatically in a specific service which is going to be BOAD service but we don't want just a plain vanilla BO service we want that whoever get this access is actually going to get membership within the backup operator group within AD so we are here going into the guts of AD through the team service whatever you can do in, in AD we can do it from here we need to look for groups is in the next page and G groups here it is so we click on group we click continue and we're going to say that we want to mandatory enforce the fact that whoever gets affected by this provision in policy is going to be become a member of the backup operator group within AD okay so that's what we do we're going to continue we're going to submit this request make it effective immediately and so we have that provision in policy is not affecting Mr. Powers yet because he's still a manager before we actually may put him back as an executive let us take a look at AD and see that power is nowhere to be, to be seen here okay pretty good so we're gonna now make him back an executive and we submit that now we could schedule it as we can always do in item but we just did it right now and we look at the request and it's uh, done so what we can actually do is go back to AD and see that Mr. Powers not only is in AD but also if we look at the group he's member he's member of the backup operator and we wanted this to be a mandatory uh, attributes and let me show you one more thing in AD in AD in in, acti in in the BOAD service sorry if we look at let's close a couple of uh, views that we're not going to be using right now if we look here at manage services and look for the BOAD BOAD just like that it's going to find only that one if we look at this service there's a parameter here that we set up when we created this uh, service which is called configure policy enforcement and we set here correct you can tell you know suspend an account that find that is found out of uh, out of compliance with my policy tell me about it you know they're you know mark it as a as enforceable what, whatever you want to do but in this case we set it to correct and let's see what that happened well, what that implies because we set it to correct when we perform our first recon iTeam is gonna fix everything that is not out there one of the things that is gonna be f fixing is gonna fix a couple of things let's see what account this particular service has defined we click search and ePower, eTourin, Jay Santana, Jay Smith, Mike Steven, W French all these people and well then that uh, Judy Hill and James River Janice Rivers that are in here they're not part of my policy and I set this to correct all those things pretty interesting what happened when I run my first recon let's close this here let's click on the twisty and do reconcile now 
submit the reconciliation and we see the status of the reconciliation request and it's going to tell me that it's successful it's a very small system so it's going to do that quickly if we go back to AD and do a refresh here all those accounts that were not compliant like uh, Janice Rivers are actually deleted Eric Powers remains there because he's supposed to but if I go now again and makes a change outside the tool I'm bypassing the tool and I'm gonna actually eliminate Mr. Powers from the backup operator group and I told I team that's a mandatory uh, uh, type of feel and I ask uh, I set uh, I team to correct all the things that are uh, that is asked to enforce well what happened if I recon again if I go and recon right now we can always look at the uh, reconciliation request and it's finished what I think it's going to actually going to do is it's going to go back here and it's going to put uh, Mr. Powers back to a backup operator because I have a policy that says you need to enforce that and you asked me to, to enforce it so notice that how you cannot bypass the tool and we're going to be seeing actually far more examples of, uh, of this uh, uh, reconciliation and how, how they can save uh, you know you from people bypassing your tool and going and doing things on the system that you don't want them to do like creating account test accounts and making changes that would put you out of compliance